I guess I'm going to Mexico. Or should I go to India? No. I'm going to Mexico. I meant what I said and I said what I meant a human's acceptance is 100%. Jax, I really hope you have fun in Mexico. It is great here. From Jose. You actually thought you were going to have fun in Mexico? Well, you fuck wrong. Dude, wake up, it's almost closing time. Sorry, I just had this really weird dream. By the way, as we... We know already. But anyways, let's go. You know Jax? Yeah, that's who I was dreaming about. Well, he died a few weeks ago and they said you were a suspect. What? Why would I do that? I don't know. I don't make the rules. Well, okay, I'm just gonna go back to my place. Bye, Mark Kiplayer. Bye, we. -ee. The next day. Okay, class. Today we're gonna learn about sharing. Bro, we learned sharing in kindergarten. Get up to date, we're in high school. Butch, get to the office now. Jeez, Butch is such a bully. I know right, he's so mean. Everybody get down. Everybody hands up. Evil Elmo, I thought you were nice. No, I'm not nice and I don't care. I thought. I thought. You were attentive. But now you have made my nerves commencement, now you will perish. I remember you, but you were destroyed by Spongebob. How are you still alive? That does not matter anymore. I have already attempted to eliminate this measurement of a planet, and I couldn't. I was very impressed, so now I won't mess with this small thing anymore, and I will move on to more gargantuan and better galaxies. Farewell mortal, make sure nothing bad happens. Hello, and welcome to the LNN, which stands for Late Night News. Today we are at Joe's Corner, and the case of Jax Gnarly is still a mystery. We have a few suspects though. So let's hand it over to the interrogators at the police station. So we... What do you have to say for yourself? Did you do potentially kidnap Jax Gnarly? No sir. I was just at the cafe with my friend Mark Kiplier and I had a dream about someone named Jose scaring a kid named Jax Gnarly. I had nothing to do with it. Oh well actually our next suspect is Jose. But that still doesn't mean you're free to go. So bring Jose in here. Hello Jose. I heard you have done something to Jax Gnarly. What do you have to say? Your Honor, I did nothing such a... I was just minding my own business. You're acting really suspicious, Jose. Also, we found a clue laying down on the couch in Jax Gnarly's home. It said property of Jose. So we are suspecting it's you because we think you wanted your house back and since you live in Mexico you don't have the green card to get your home back so you had to take Jax Gnarly somewhere else. Fine, you got me. The whole story is true. I just wanted to live there again. Well, why couldn't you get the green card? Because I was too poor at the time, and I could not afford it. Well, I'm sorry, Jose. I don't make the rules, but the judge has sentenced you to five years in the prison. Goodbye. Good thing we have that case sorted. Well, this has been the LNN News tonight. Hope to see you tomorrow. Bye for now. Well, that was good that Jose got locked up. Yeah, but I'm still sad they didn't find Jack Snarly. Well, I'm gonna go to bed. Good night. What is that sound? Oh jeez, Butch, where did you come from? I was just under the bed. I don't know why. Um, okay. I'm just gonna go to sleep. Just go to your room. Okay. Yes! I finally have his suitcase. Now he'll be so poor since he paid for that trip to Egypt. So he'll have to move out. And then I just need to get Cookie Monster to move out. 
and then I will have this entire place to myself. Wait, where is my suitcase? Cookie Monster, do you know where my suitcase is? No, I just came in here because my wallet's gone and I needed to talk to you. Something's not right here. I'll go check on Butch. Okay, I will sit here and keep an eye out for anybody. Butch, what are you doing with my suitcase? Oh, uh. I thought you were sleeping. I was just, um. You're trying to make me and Cookie Monster move out, aren't ya? No, I was just looking for some clothes. I didn't have any. Yeah, yeah, that's what they all say. I'm calling the police on you. So I heard you were trying to commit cash fraud, huh? Well, that's not gonna work, buddy. The judge says you're sentenced to jail for two years. Fine. But I'll be back, one day. Blah blah blah, okay get out of here. Good thing Butch is gone. And did you see anything or anyone walk by suspiciously? Well I saw one guy but I'm sure it's fine. Okay good. I've been on the moon for weeks. I have to get down to Earth somehow. I have an idea. I've seen a car floating around, I can just hop in that when it comes around and then I can get back down to Earth. Five hours later. I made it back to Earth, but where am I? It looks like I'm in the forest, I just have to find my way back. One day later. Yes! I made it back, but I need a job. Here I go. So cold. I'm practically frozen by now. Yes, I made it. I just need to get an interview and then I'm done here. I'd like to apply for a job. Okay, why do you think that good customer service is better for businesses? Well, um, I really have no idea. May I see your identification, please? I don't have one. I'm a kid. Then you can't apply for jobs. Get out. Wait, I'm a kid too. New manager application. Hello, you're hired for manager. Goodbye. Whoa. Okay. Woo. Wow! Jack Snarly, you've been missing for days. Where have you been? What are you talking about? I haven't been missing for days. Wait, what? Shrek, wake up. Everybody has left. It's six o'clock. Leave the school. Wait. That was all a dream? I don't know what you're talking about, but you have to leave. Okay, I'll go. Well, my work here is done. Another successful day as a cop. Oh, hi, Mark Kiplayer. I didn't know you worked at Buzz Daily Car. Oh, I thought you knew. Well, would you like a table or a booth? I'll take a table. This is a weird coincidence. I know, right? Hey, we. What are you doing, Evil Elmo? I was just trying to enjoy a nice day out and then you had to come along and ruin it. Well, that was the exact same thing you did to me. Let's just settle down and try to enjoy this night, okay? Fine, but only on one condition, we can't look or talk to each other. Okay. What was that? We finally got that inconsequential mortal. Thanks for working with me. No problem, but now you owe me that small galaxy, okay? I will administratively approximate downstream. Okay, good. So soon? Yes, soon. Wow! Where did I just teleport to? It just looks like a normal park, or forest. Oh no, I heard rumors about this place. It's called the Void. I guess I'm stuck here forever. Hey, where's that coming from? Hey, wake up. Hi, my name's Cat. You've been knocked out in this elevator for six weeks. The person who knocked you out kind of looked like a popular YouTuber. I think his name is Dennis. And I've seen you on YouTube, too. I think your name's Alex. Yeah, I am Alex. 
and Dennis is my good friend, he would never hurt me. Maybe it was. Oh my gosh, did the person who knocked me out have a Boston accent? Yeah. It was sketch. The YouTuber. Yeah, he's my friend. I don't know why he would do that. I have to find him. Okay, good luck. Sketch, you knocked me out for six weeks. Oh, I see you've finally figured it out. Well, this is the conclusion, I guess. No. The conclusion is that if you don't come with me right now, I will have to take this to higher measures. I'd like to see you try. And also, this is what I have done to the community so far. I made Wee have the worst dream of his life which will be locked in his mind forever. I made everyone believe that Jack Snarly was dead. I made Elmo turn into an immortalized being. I made Butch be the biggest bully there ever was he even committed cash fraud. I made evil Elmo go back to being a monstrous villain. I made Jose lose his family and home. I made Spongebob have to call the police on his trusted friend. I made Cookie Monster feel true depression and now he will be depressed for the rest of his life. I made Vector go without food or water for weeks and now he has died. I made Frederick and Johnny be homeless. I made Shrek have the worst and scariest nightmare of his life. And now he is paralyzed in fear. And now I will make you experience the worst pain you have ever felt in your life. Nobody messes with my friends. I'm Mickey Mouse and I'm making the world a better place with. Putting you in your place. Well, that was a weird video. I don't even know why I made it. Well, I guess I'm done. I'm just gonna try and upload this. 16 minutes later. Okay, and I'm done. Okay, that took a long time. I'm just gonna go get some milk. I'm thirsty. Hey, Mom, can I get some milk? Yeah, sure. Thanks. Whoa! A mortal being of existence? I thought you were only in Plotagon. You fool. Of course I'm not just in Plotagon. I am everywhere anywhere at any time I want. The only thing different about me is that I can't say the big words that I say in Plotagon. But I can still do everything else, like this. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, so... I just came here to say... You got pranked. This is Plotagon Michael. And I can still say big words, like this. Numen ultramicoscopic silico volcano kinesis. Oh, then how am I talking like this? It's just a recording button. Look at the facts, bro. Well, I guess so when I look at it. But a mortal being of existence. Was this a good movie? No, this has been the worst experience of my life and I really disliked everything about it. Aw, that's so nice. Thank you. Wait, you think that's nice? Yeah, you said, yes, this has been the best experience of my life. And I loved every part of it. I.e. So, since you said it was the best experience of your life, I'm gonna end it. Yes, good, please do that. Okay. The end. Huh, Bullrick? That was horrible. I know, Morty, it had a terrible plot, terrible characters, and just, it was, it was terrible. It was just terrible, Morty. I'm telling you.